Welcome back to Local 5 Live. From healthy Halloween treats to Boo Fest taking place in the stores, Halloween can be an eat well event with festival <laughs> foods. They can make anything into an eat well event. <laughs> yeah, they can. Lauren Tulig and Brittany Nicolich are here. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. Okay, let's start out with just the really cute items and great ideas pre bagged too, that you have here in front of us. Yes. So, first off, um, we have this smart food little packets for trick or treat or for the week leading up to Halloween. Just kind of a fun treat to stick into trick or treat bags. And they're nice because they're, they're smaller than the regular bags you'd find in the store. Mm -hmm. And then they come in a bunch of different varieties as well. Yeah. And then we have these fun treats, if you want to Yeah, talk about so, those. Um, you know, when we think of Halloween, usually it's all about candy, candy, candy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes I think even kids can get sick of all the candy. Sure. So just trying to find <laughs> different things to change it up and make eating fruits and vegetables fun. And we hate saying that word around Halloween. <laughs> yeah. um, but there are fun ways to prepare them to make them into Halloween um, Halloween shapes That's and cute. Um, these I, are monster yeah. mouths. You can call them monster mouths. Um, we have this is just peanut butter and um, marshmallows, but you could use chocolate chips. You said that you did used. one yes. time because you know I wanted them to like blacked out That's teeth. That's cute. Or you could use a few marshmallows and then like one blacked out tooth mm -hmm. for Halloween. Oh, there totally. Go. Yeah, there's yes. so many fun yeah. different things. And um, then we have these are just clementines. We just peeled them and then stuck a little piece of celery in there. Mm -hmm. And then they'll look like pumpkins well, and they're just fun. And yes. it's nice because parents don't have to keep saying no. You right. know what I mean? Like, right. can I have more candy? No. Can I have more? You can have a couple of these. Right. And that's okay. And we were just talking a little bit ago about picky eaters. And so this is a great way to get picky eaters to try new things is make it oh, yeah. look fun to eat. And I love all you have to do for string, these string cheeses is take a little marker. Yeah. Yeah. Right this is my kind of. Yeah. Anyone this. can pull that one off. Yeah, it's just a little, it says boo on it, and it's got a ghost face. I Very love cute. it. Very cute. And Not we cute. talk a lot with you guys about making sure allergy-friendly options mm. are available. This is one of those, Enjoy Life. Tell us about this name brand. Yes, so Enjoy Life is one of our favorite brands to work with because they are, all their products are free of the top eight most common allergens in the United States. So gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, soy-free, all of that. Um, so they're a great treat, a candy treat to stick into um, treat bags on Halloween, but we also yeah. offer non-food treats too. That's also very important. Part of the teal pumpkin campaign. Let's talk a little bit about that. Sure. So um, all you have to do if you want to participate um, is to print off the sign and put it maybe in your window or outside your door on Halloween, or you can go big and paint a pumpkin teal. Mm -hmm. um, and just it's just a matter of offering some of those non-food items. So you know, even with some of these allergen-friendly items, parents can still be concerned from cross-contamination, and it's just a little bit easier to offer some of those non-food items like pencils, erasers, um, whistles, there's pins. I mean, you can really do anything and it's also just a good opportunity to give something different than candy like we were talking about yes. before. Yeah, Absolutely. I love the little pins. That's okay. I haven't seen that yet. That's my first year seeing those. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about Boo Fest because there are yeah. treats yes. offered, both food and non-food. Yes. yes. I, I can go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's this Saturday, October 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the kids that are eight and under can come to the store in their costumes and trick or treat around the Fun. store. And it's not just candy. We have things like Go-Gurts, apples, string cheese, Rice Krispie treats, and non-food treats as well. And we have a fun photo contest going on, so we encourage kids eight and under to, to wear their costumes, come with mom and dad, shop throughout the store, um, and take a picture of your kids okay. having a great time at Boo Fest. Um, and all you have to do oh, is just cute. upload <laughs> it, festfoods.com really slash photos, and you'll be entered to win a $100 gift card. And there are just oh. some cute kids. We love when people submit photos because we get to look through them all. Yes, yeah, these yeah, pictures. That's the best part. And they're just so darn cute. <laughs> well, there you see the website on the bottom, festfoods.com slash photos. Now, is Boo Fest going on in all the area stores, no matter where you're watching us right now? Yep, all locations tomorrow, 10 to okay. 2. It's a great time. It's a great event. It's nice to take your kids to. We'll have, like Brittany said, a wide variety of things. Things and it, you're not outside, so depending on the weather, <laughs> doesn't yeah, matter. Nice, yeah. Um, yeah. So you'll be indoors, and it's just a very fun, family friendly event through all our stores. Yes. And you have some information on your blog I saw as well if people are looking for details and how to make some, some interesting trips. Yes, so if you go to fastfoods.com slash blog, we have more information on Boo Fest and fun Halloween treats. All right. Well, this has been really fun, speaking of, and <laughs> great display. Thank you, ladies, for coming in this morning. Yeah, thank you for having Halloween. Right. You too. <laughs>